How to convert Figma design to Webflow. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to convert a Figma design to Webflow. Figma is a popular design tool used by many designers to create web and mobile interfaces. And Webflow is a no-code platform that uses design, build, and launch responsive websites. Converting your Figma designs to Webflow can be breezy if you know the right steps. So, whether you're a designer or developer, this tutorial will help you bring your designs to life. So, let's get started. Now over here right now, we are currently in Figma. What we're going to do today is we're going to transfer our design from Figma to Workspace using this plugin called Figma to Webflow, HTML, CSS, and Website Plugin. You would be able to find this plugin when you search this on Google, wherein you would be searching this, for example, we're going to do this, then typing it on your Google, then you're going to add in plugin, just like that. And you would be able to see this first link over here, which is the same link that we have opened over here. Now you're simply going to click on try it out and you would be able to use this plugin, which would allow you to convert your Figma designs to your Webflow over here. Now while waiting for this, we're going to add a workspace on our Webflow account right now. We're going to click on new site and we're going to wait for this to load. We're going to choose a blank site right now. We're going to click on select so that we would be able to have an empty site later on when we upload or send our Figma design to our Webflow over here. We're going to click on create site and just like that, we have a blank page in Webflow. We're going to go back to our dashboard for the meantime and we're going to go back to our open website over here which is now very similar to Figma over here but this time it has a new plugin which is the plugin that we have installed right here which is Figma to Webflow, HTML, CSS, and website. We're going to click on run over here and you would be able to use this plugin over here as you can see here on our pop-up we would be able to use this as a help for us to create designs on figma this is not just a website this is not just a plugin that would allow us to convert our figma design to webflow but also assist us in creating a beautiful website as you can see here we have different layouts that we could use to add to our figma we have navigation hero forms themes logos gallery features pricing testimonials and footer over here we could use all of this layouts that is automatically created in figma for you to be able to create a much faster development for your website you could also click over here on structure which would allow you to create your customized layouts or create customized parts of your website with the help of this layout over here we're going to demonstrate this later on now, if you are familiar with Figma, this is what you usually work with. It's very difficult for beginners to use Figma because it takes a lot of efforts to manually add the things that they would like to add to their website. For example, we could add this rectangle over here and then you could design or change the color by clicking this button over here. You would need to also do this and click on text over here. Maybe you could add a header just like that and you would be able to edit this message over here on the right side you could choose and edit the design over here as you can see we have layers text enter regular over here we could do this extra light extra thin stuff like that you could also you could also change the size over here we could make this bigger just like that and you could put it over here also now it's very difficult or very annoying for beginners to start working with cat with figma because it's not an easy website to learn as you can see there are a lot of things you would need to handle over here to be able to successfully build a very good website but this plugin that we have right now allows beginners to create good websites for us to also use so we're going to check this out in a bit we're first going to clean up our tab over here we're going to exit pages that we are not going to need just like that and now we're going to use our figma to webflow plugin over here we're first going to remove all our pages over here by deleting all of this we're going to delete all of this pages that we have we're going to start with a very fresh page for us to use 
and just like that we have our cover page over here we can change our background to white just like that and we have a thumbnail over here we're simply going to delete our thumbnail by clicking this and deleting that and as you can see right now we have a very clean black page that we have for our web flow so we're going to use our plugin to create a very simple website for us for the meantime and then we're going to show you later how you can transfer your design from figma to your webflow website over here now we're going to check out our layouts over here wherein we will be able to choose from all of these options like navigation hero forms themes logos gallery features pricings and more what you're simply going to do is you're going to select the section that you would like to add for example we want to add a navigation right here we're simply going to click that and we would be able to add a navigation into our page over here as you can see this is our navigation we could drag this into our top bar just like that i'm going to make sure that this is centered just like that what i'm going to do right now actually is i'm going to change the color of our background so that we would be able to see it much better just like that and now as you can see this is our nav bar we could also add a heading hero left over here we could select this entirely and align it align it with our nav bar just like that we could connect them together and this will be our temporary website now after doing this after creating your website in figma after creating your design you could simply click on structure or select on our page over here and what you're going to do is you're going to as you can see here we have this option to copy to webflow we're first going to select a webflow site from above by clicking, by clicking this and you would be able to have these options over here as you can see this is jasper's super cool website that we have created earlier you're simply going to click that you're going to select this option and then you're going to copy to webflow and we would be able to copy this website that we have right now to our webflow as you can see it is copied to clipboard and you're simply going to open your website in webflow we're going to wait for it to load and now in this section you're simply going to click on the body of your text and you're going to click on Control v and as you can see it automatically added our page over here that we have created in figma into our webflow account as you can see we can also change our point of views over here we could change our previews over here and it is already responsive depending on what device people are using and that's guys you could make more complicated designs make it more better using the layouts make your lives easier using this as a shortcut to create your content and you would be able to transfer them very easily to your webflow account or if you don't want to use this to transfer your webflow just use this as a help or as a guide to create your website in webflow you wouldn't need to transfer it to webflow and you could just keep it in figma and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching